Good afternoon. We're here with Eric Musalan. Eric is the country head, the CEO of Burning in Ingelheim in the Philippines. Right? I'm uh, very fortunate to be here today with Eric. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you, Eric. And thanks for being open to sharing your experience with, with me as well as the readers and, and those people who get to watch this video on YouTube. Um, I've asked you to think about a chapter in the book that you'd like to talk about. And I think the one that you said spoke to you was growth and vision, right? So which one would you talk about or would you want to talk about, uh, about both of them? Uh, probably yes, Bjorn. I think what I would like to share with you is uh, how these two principles have been applied in my tenure okay. uh, as country managing director nice. in the Philippines. Beautiful. That would be a so, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. That would be perfect. So, uh, give us a little bit of a background so people understand uh, what was the situation when you arrived and uh, how did you solve it and how did the principal in the book uh, help you with that? How, how did that make a dif difference or an impact? So when, when I arrived in the Philippines, this organization has been distinguished to be a successful organization internally. Okay. Uh, but it was under a period of a lot of stability, you know, for 10 years we mm -hmm. didn't have the launch of any new products. Okay. And uh, obviously this stability brings with it a certain degree of comfort level. Sure, sure. So yes. my, my task number one as, as new managing director mm -hmm. was to really move the organization into action mm -hmm. because we had the, the, the launches of a series of pipeline products just a few months away from, from, uh, from when I arrived, no? Nice so, so I would like to start touching on, on your principle of vision, mm -hmm. because, vision yes, right. because the first thing that we did is, is really with the leadership team of the company, we really went in an offsite meeting and really, really said, where is it that we want to be in the next five years? Mm -hmm. And how can we eventually have this compelling vision so that all the employees and particularly the employees on the field, which are far away from, from the office, would eventually be rallied and motivated to, to get there, no? Yes. So after, after this workshop, we really decided that we wanted to be the fifth company or to be a top five company in terms of ranking in the Philippines. So top five pharma company. Top five pharma country. company. We were the tenth at the moment. Okay, and so from ten to number five, that's a significant jump. Exactly, and yes. that was the original, the, the, the strategic ambition for the company for this period has been how can we become a top five human pharma company in the Philippines. Fantastic. And uh, it, it was a very interesting experience because really when you when you have clarity into what is it that you want to do. It really mm -hmm. helps employees to go to to have an understanding of where management is putting attention. Mm -hmm. And I have always believed here that managerial attention is something like a water that you are pouring in a garden. You know, mm -hmm. wherever you pour attention as a manager, there that certainly makes makes uh, plants grow. In this case, revenues grow. You know? Yes. So and, since and people maybe too. No? Exactly. Yeah. So at the end, this vision, to make a long story short here, after setting this vision, this really motivated the people and we have been refreshing that vision and re reminding employees about this vision. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently, in the late, in the YTD figures or the year to date figures, we're about to become the fifth human pharma company in the Philippines. Oh, congratulations. Thank you, Jerry. So this has been a very, very good effort by all my colleagues here in the, in the, in the office. And uh, the vision stated that we wanted to become the top five company before 2015. Mm -hmm. The good news is that uh, we became, or we're about to become, the fifth company before this year ends. And, and this uh, is still 2013. And this two, is 2013. Two years ahead of schedule. So I think this was this was very positive, Bjorn, and that yeah. takes me. So we have uh, touched about vision. And that takes me to your next principle, which is the principle of growth, particularly yeah. the topic you like, which is exponential growth. Exponential growth, fantastic. And this exponential growth what is, is very interesting because we have been achieving this exponential growth. In 2011, we had a, a low single digit growth. Mm -hmm. In 2012, we grew in the range of 12 to 13 percent. And 2013, we're expecting to end in 16 percent growth. So we're seeing a very nice pickup of exponential growth. And this was driven, number one, because we had a solid operational foundation mm -hmm. because I arrived. Wow. And we've been building on this foundation by introducing two new products at least every year for the, for the past three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, the company has really done its part in sustaining the current mm -hmm. established products, but really doing extraordinary launches uh, by, by, driving, by, by driving results now.
Now, I touch on these launches because when you're speaking about growth, if there's a moment of truth for our pharmaceutical companies, mm. how do we launch the new products? Mm. And this has certainly been a critical success factor that the company has been able to do. So new products combined with a vision, I think is what is bringing us exponential growth. Yes. And so far the Philippines uh, has been a very successful pharmaceutical company in, in, the, in, the, in the landscape. Great, great, fantastic. And was there, uh, of course there was measurable results in terms of ROI, right? It's probably quite, uh, Definitely, we were not being able to, uh, to achieve this growth with a relatively stable profitability, mm -hmm. which means certainly that the, our absolute profits are growing very nicely. And uh, very importantly, it's not only about profit. So this company is about sustainability, bringing innovation to the market and contributing to the community. And we have been able to do this very nicely. In terms of innovation, we have been bringing new therapies for the Filipinos. Mm -hmm. In terms of sustainability, I think we have given very, very big steps in improving our governance and particularly uh, sophisticating even more our ethical marketing practices. Very nice. And in terms, in terms of uh, uh, contribution to the community, we have job started many new CSR initiatives. One of them is a social entrepreneurship uh, uh, venture fund mm -hmm. that we have initiated locally. Secondly, we have been supporting so, uh, SOS Children Villages in a new project that we wow. just initiated and we are an active contributor of the Red Cross, in, uh, particularly in a country like the Philippines in which disasters are, are, are very prevalent. Have you noticed, I talked about contribution in a lot of my chapters and the impact it has. I mean, it really has us feel good about it and many times when we give, there's more, more than what we give, it's also coming back. Sure. Have you noticed uh, a difference in your employees when you started that or in the, in the uh, results that were produced? Definitely. I think it's a contribution is a great, uh, first of all, from a personal perspective, it really helps you to have a sense of purpose and meaning. Yes. And, uh, you know, we realize, Bjorn, that uh, we have the optical illusion that life is longer than what we think, right? Yes. And I think people sometimes do sight that, that deep inside we're here to make a contribution. Yes. So I think by, by doing this kind of activities, it reminds people about the importance of really being an active contributor in society. Mm -hmm. And certainly that is translated in a very productive and uh, certainly a much more engaged workplace. No? Mm -hmm. So you can feel it with your people Absolutely. Are they engaged. Absolutely. I wouldn't say with all people, I guess the mm -hmm. challenge is how do we continuously uh, generate this uh, this uh, uh, very positive organization of co culture of giving mm -hmm. and being an active member of community. What I would say, we have done good progress with a very big percentage of employees. Great, fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, Eric. I thank really you very much. This was uh, Eric Musalam, uh, CEO in the Philippines of Berry Inland. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you, Eric.